Library. This is Cindy, and today I want to talk about Becoming Mrs. Lewis by Patty Callahan. And, yep, I quite enjoyed it. Um, so, this is historical fiction telling the story of how one Joy Davidson became the wife of C.S. Lewis, which no one in their right minds would ever have thought. Um, Joy Davidson was uh, born and raised a Jew, she, for a while, was an atheist and a communist before discovering Christianity. Um, she was married with two boys, eventually became divorced. She was from New York. C.S. Lewis was an Oxford Don over in England, a confirmed bachelor. Although... Surprisingly, the two actually had more of in common than you might think. Both were converts to Christianity, and both were very interested in literature. Uh, so, historical fiction, but Patty Callahan did a lot of research into this book. Uh, she read C.S. Lewis papers, Joy Davidson papers, everything she could find. And some things, of course, we never will know. But this is a pretty good guess at what may have happened. How did they end up together? Well, to start with, it's not quite as quick as you might think, because Joy Davidson had been um, corresponding with C.S. Lewis since 1940, I want to say, something like that. So for a long, long time before they even met, and... Uh, Sadly, Joy's marriage was not very happy, and she had a lot of questions about Christianity. That's how their correspondence started to begin with. And interestingly enough, um, when Joy did come to England and finally meet C.S. Lewis and some of his friends, etc., and so forth, there are a few friends that liked her. Most did not. Although, one very interesting and telling thing is the fact that Warney Lewis was not included on that list of people who did not like Joy Davidson. So there is that. Uh, like I said, there's a lot that can only be speculated about, but Caddy Callahan did a fine job of pulling together everything we do know and filling in the blanks with um, probabilities, shall we say, how things very well could have happened. And one thing I especially appreciated is that basically for the whole book, we are in um, Joy Davidman's uh, perspective. And so I think that does a very valuable service to her in helping us feel more uh, her situation and how difficult it was to have a husband who was an alcoholic and had affairs and did not respect her and wanted her to be the perfect perfect southern housewife with two boys to raise on top of that. And often 
as trying to make ends meet with her writing. So, yeah, I have a lot of sympathy for her. And as for the actual romance part, by the end it is very sweet. Um, middle part can get a little bit uncomfortable, but I still think it was done very tastefully. Um, Joy at least recognizes her feelings, etc. But she also knows uh, what boundaries can and cannot be crossed based on her religion. And as much as part of her would love to cross those boundaries, she even more doesn't want to cross them. So there is that. Uh, Joy Davidsman, she really changed C.S. Lewis's life. Uh, it is largely thanks to her. Well, Surprised by Joy would not be the wonderful book that it is. Um, she was the one who encouraged Lewis to actually write Till We Have Faces which is arguably his best work. And um, his book, A Grief Observed, wherein he describes his process of mourning Joy's death about three years before his own, is another classic on the subject. So, oh. So I think this book does a lot to give things from Joy's point of view, and we really do owe her a debt of gratitude, if only for some of C.S. Lewis's latest work in the last decade or so of his life. And I quite enjoyed it. I'll probably read it again. So uh, that was C.S. Lewis by Patty Callahan. And I think that's all I have to say about it. So love to hear if you have read it, what you thought, any comments or suggestions. I truly do appreciate you stopping by here today. It always means a lot. And so until next time, I hope we all stay safe and healthy. And as always, happy reading.